Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel Budget with Bliss. My name is Katie and this channel is all about keeping myself accountable with my budget and finances, using the cash stuffing method and creating general financial well-being. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you have had a great start to 2024. It's Friday today, so we survived the first week of January, <laughs> which is like the longest month of the year generally, isn't it? And what a week it has been. It has been so windy so wet um so yeah 2024 starting off great <laughs> but um actually it's been quite a just kind of an all, all right week for me this week um uh, back to work um loads to catch up on um so i haven't really had much time to catch up with your videos but today is my day off and it is on my to-do list uh to get caught up with as many of you as i can um so let's get into today's video. It's a check-in for December week five, I think, um, is what I last put out for cash stuffing. Um, so we'll just go through what I have spent this week and to see if there's been any kind of uh, um, budgeted spends um, and see how much we've got left and if we can pop any leftover money into some savings challenges. So I think I left you on Thursday or Friday. Um, so Thursday, uh, £24 spent on Amazon. That was for my partner's birthday. So that came out of his uh, pot. And also on Friday, again, another spend on Amazon for a birthday present for him. So that is fine. Saturday, I spent £10 um, on a ticket to the Rockfit event I'm going to later on this month. So that came out of the Rockfit challenge that I have here. Um, and £2.99 came out for my Apple subscription. And then on Sunday, New Year's Eve, was a no spend day. We just stayed in, which was lovely. Hope you all had a good New Year's and didn't have sore heads the next day. Um, and then on Monday, uh, it was a no spend day. And that day I went to visit my family um, and we watched the fireworks that they have on New Year's Day every year in my like OG hometown um, where my mum and that lives um, and had roast dinner. So that was really nice. And then on Tuesday, uh, it was a no spend day. It was back to work. Um, so all the emails and everything to kind of catch up on, um, as you do Wednesday, um, petrol, I spent nine pounds 77, um, on Thursday, which was yesterday, I spent 28 pounds on my lashes. So not too bad, uh, no unbudgeted spend. So yeah, all good. Pretty much a decent week. So let's see what we have got left. Oh, so knocked you. So yeah, let's see what we've got left in this binder for this week. So spending has got four pounds. And petrol, I literally only put like, yeah, less than a ten. I took ten pounds out with me and then I I daren't try and get to the £10 mark because I know I'll go over and I didn't have any change or anything in my purse. So it was like, yeah, £9.77 is as close as I dared to get the the uh, pump to go. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've got uh, £10 and 23p left out of petrol. Um, eating out, we haven't spent anything from here this week. So we've got £20, £35, £40. Um, in here and beauty um, has got five six seven pounds left for the month and then miscellaneous and health don't have anything in there so let's get rid of these coins so 23p uh, we'll pop the 20 into my silver 
sausage piggy bank and uh, the coppers go into copper chops. <laughs> I, I named my piggies at the beginning of my cash stuffing journey. Um, so yeah, let's just pop them out of shop. So 23p is going into the penny savings challenge. So I use this one, which goes from one to 100. And this is from the lovely Jules at Scottish Highlander on a budget. Do check out her YouTube and her Etsy um, shop as well. So yeah, that's 23 on there. So this is like a, a mini version of the 365 uh, penny savings challenge. Um, where you say you're meant to save like a, a penny on day one, two P's on day two, three P on day three, right up to 365 pence or three pounds 65 on the last day of the year. Although it'll be 366 this year. Is anyone doing a 366 day penny challenge? Just out of curiosity. Um, let me know if you know anyone who it is. Like that'd be really interesting. Um, but yeah, so that is the 23 crossed off in total this saves 50 pounds and 50 pence each time you do it so i did it the first time um i finished kind of uh, october and then started again in october so i'm this is a slow one for me but um every penny counts and helps so um we will get there eventually okay so um four pounds I'm going to pop into my savings challenge which I'm doing for my next rock fit event coming up later on this month so I just need some spending money now um the so hotel is sorted travel is sorted and this is just going to be spending money for like food and drink um and maybe like the the trams or buses around uh, where we're going so four pounds it's going into Put the kettle on. What colour of pen am I using? I just black. Oh, that's not the right colour. Not the right kind of pen. Uh, so this savings challenge is from Budget with Abby. And I think it saves 30 in total. 10 and then the four five fours is 20. So yeah, 30 pounds. Um, and we were doing a second challenge. Um that was in this envelope as well. So there's the money left over from that. So we've now got four pounds, five, six, seven, eight, eighteen, and five makes twenty-three. Okay, jubbly. And this amazing envelope is from Sarah at Diddy Dally Budgets over on Etsy. And also she has a YouTube channel too, so check her out. And so does Budget with Abby. So look out for those okay so we have got 10 pounds left conveniently in two five pound notes and i've been waiting to use this <laughs> since i got it on christmas day it is a coin decision maker savings box thing so you put a coin in the top and then it trundles down and then um it's got a little pot for each side but i'm going to use it to decide which challenge is getting what money so um i've chosen like just left and right just to make it a bit easier for me um so the two challenges that we're going to do the left is going to be the book of the tarot book of savings challenges yeah and then the right is going to be my unicorn buffer challenge i think should it be that or should i put in something else no, we'll do that. So I need a coin now. Um, where do I put all them pound coins? There we go. That'll be the easiest thing when you So yeah, left is tarot, right is unicorns. This is the first time I've done this. Oh, can you even see? Oh, there we go. Right, so the first five pounds is going into the unicorn buffer challenge. Pop that in there and just take off one of these little unicorns. This little sleepy one. And just retrieve the coin from the back. And we go again. Go on. 
right again. So £10 going into this today, which is awesome. So we've got 5, 10, 15, 20, £30 in this buffer now. So uh, this challenge again was from um, Scottish Highlander on a budget. And the tarot savings challenge is from Eva at the Rocking Witch. So there we go. That is the check-in done. Um, so, oh, I've got that pound in here. I'll sort that in a minute. So, yeah, that is everything for this check-in. Um, so thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and pop a comment below. Let me know what you think about the old decision maker coin bank thing. Um, I love it. <laughs> I just wish I had like, I, I really would like like a proper, maybe a little plastic coin or something to put in here rather than using, um, sorry, you see my face then, uh, rather than using like pound coins. Uh, but I tried to use a um, like connect four coin, but it's too big. So I need to find something smaller, maybe like a tiddlywink or something. But um, yeah, let me know what you think about it. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. We'll be cash stuffing for week one of January. Take care, guys. Bye.